not gonna swear on my channel, but <laughs> I call this the picnic b-word look. The gingham top and the boots are what make this look. You could wear this outfit to picnics, but of course you could also wear it to go shopping or other occasions. I'm wearing two rose gold chains of different lengths. The longer chain has this teardrop pendant, and this bag is from Charles and Keith. I've used it in so many outfit videos. This top is from Easy Buy, and I really like the off-shoulder action, and the skirt is from Cotton On, and I got it on sale. The shoes are Dr. Martin's 1460. I have a video where I show 15 outfits with Dr. Martin's. It was shot on my iPhone, so the quality is not the best, but the outfits aren't as bad, I promise. Summer may not be the same this year. Quarantine, circuit breaker, lockdown may be ongoing, but I hope that everyone has or finds something to look forward to. I call this next outfit the beach please look, and sun damage is real so remember to use protection, sun protection of course, get that vitamin D safely. This mini tube top is something that I DIY'd in my transformation of old clothes video. It's not something I'd normally wear out but to the beach, I think it's perfect. The hat is from Easy Buy and the pens are from a friend. I like how this mini tube top adds a pop of colour to this otherwise really neutral look. I think it's really nice. The tote bag is from Yvonne Lambert or Yvonne Lambert. <laughs> And the slippers are from Cotton On or Ruby, but does anyone really care about the brand of my flip-flops? Also, I'm not fit. If you see my abs, it's just a combination of great lighting and angles. I'm definitely going to keep working on my fitness. I'm calling this third look the shopping is my cardio look because honestly, I kind of miss shopping. This is the cousin of the picnic bitch look because it kind of has that similar vibe going. She's feisty. I got this dress from Tempt, but it's been with me for quite a long time, so I altered it in one of my recent videos. Now it has those slits in the front, and I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Here's a close-up so you can see how the slits look. Honestly, it's not the best. I am a beginner, but I think it kind of elevated this dress. Ooh, what's happening? I think this is an excellent way to spice up a dress. Layering on a top over a dress is a very effective move, and I really like how this turned out. The top is also from Easy Buy, the bag is from Charles and Keith, and I think this pearl clip is from Vitorena at Boogies Plus. I think this look would be so much better if the dress didn't show at the top. You can kind of see it peeking through at the neckline. Maybe I'll transform this dress into a two-piece. I have a few dresses that I want to alter, so maybe I'll make a video out of it. I call this outfit the modern pinup girl look. <sighs> Another great outfit for a picnic. Can't wait to go on a picnic after quarantine. Imagine holding a picnic basket with this outfit. Or a cup of bubble tea. Oh my goodness, I miss bubble tea so much. This headband was actually a belt that was a part of a dress. And that dress is actually from the editor's market. So I guess that's where this headband is from. Never underestimate the power of tying your hair. I think changing your hairstyle is a great way to spice up a look. The top is again from Easy Buy. The shorts are from Cotton On. The bag is the same one from Yvonne Limbeur. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I laugh every time I say it because French is really so beautiful, but I butcher it every time. Anyway, the shoes are Nike Cortez. Where I'm from, it's summer all year round, and I kind of want to stay in a place with seasons for a while, maybe for a year or half a year, maybe a part of a school exchange program. I think that'd be so exciting, but we'll have to see how COVID-19 plays out. I'd love to travel, but that won't be anytime soon, I guess. But that's another thing that I'm looking forward to. I call this the spring summer look because when I was picking it from my wardrobe, this look striked me as more spring than summer. So maybe it's something that you could wear in the transition. Also, I really like the color scheme of this outfit. It's kind of pastel and I think it's kind of cute with the lettuce hem ruffle top from Easy Buy again. <laughs> and the baby blue flare pants are from Uniqlo. I love how comfortable and versatile the pants are. You can definitely dress it up so that the look is more smart casual but you can also definitely dress it down, kind of like this spring-summer look, so that it's a lot more relaxed and we could wear it to a lot of different occasions. The bag is from Sports Girl, 
and the heels are from Charles and Keith. In this video, I really made an effort to kind of reuse the same accessories and items just to show how they match with different outfits. But also kind of because I don't have a lot of bags or shoes, so these items are just what works. Also, I can definitely see myself wearing this outfit a lot. Imagine cafe hopping in this outfit. I call this the hot and spicy look, mainly because of the bright red top, it's from Bershka, and the shorts are from Cotton On. I'm using the same bag as before, the one from Sports Girl, and I'm wearing my Nike Cortez. The sunglasses are from Cotton On, and I got it during my Australia grad trip. I still daydream about that trip sometimes. <sighs> it was honestly so fun. I call this the sweet doll look because I'm wearing this really nice baby doll dress with that clip. This dress is from Easy Buy. Again, I really get a lot of things from Easy Buy because it's so affordable. And the bag is from Sports Girl and the heels are from Charles and Keith. Even though I do get a lot of things on Easy Buy, I'm definitely trying to be a lot more sustainable in my fashion choices. Anyway, in this outfit, you could also tie a braid and I think it really elevate the look. Wish I did that, but I think I was sweating too much to think straight. That's all 7 outfits. I guess this could also be like an outfit of the week video. 7 is such a beautiful number. <laughs> anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you stay safe wherever you are. Bye!